have uh, this photo here and it looks like the model is expecting some rain so we're going to go ahead and add rain using Photoshop and the final effect will look something like this and very uh, very realistic looking rain uh, for your image so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, in Photoshop I've, op I've opened up my image here and I'm going to click on Control J to duplicate the layer next we're going to create the white uh, canvas uh, background effect I'm going to edit, or I'm sorry, actually image. We're going to go to image, canvas, size, and I'm just going to change this to percent, and we'll just make sure that the uh, middle is selected here, and we'll click on, let's say, 20% uh, for width and 20% for height, and we'll click OK. And it'll create this white background for our image. Okay, next we're going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon, blank layer. And I'm trying to make sure that uh, the black is the foreground and the white is the background color. So we'll just click on D to reset the colors and you can click on X if need be. So with the white as a background color and the, uh, the new layer that we created highlighted, I'm just going to click on Alt Backspace to fill it with the black. You can alternatively uh, click on G for the paint bucket tool and fill it with the black that way. Okay, next we're going to go to Filter noise, add noise, and I'm just going to make sure that the monochromatic is selected here, and let's um, put it around, let's see, this is fine, 296, 300, something uh, somewhere around that range, click OK, and I'm going to go into filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, add a little blur, uh, 0.5 is fine, click OK, and so far we should have something that looks like this. Okay, next step would be to create the levels adjustment. Now if you hold down the Alt button and click on the levels adjustment icon and you go up to levels, it'll give you this extra dialog box with a few options and we can click on use previous layer to create a clipping mask, which is what we want to do. So you click on cancel, you can also go into the adjustments panel, click on levels, and if you right click you can select create clipping mask that way as well. The able to do the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag the black slider to the right and uh, drag the white slider to the left to create some contrast and we'll just leave it at now. We'll leave it like this for now. We can always modify it later on depending on our needs. Okay, so I'm going to click on the layer 2, which is the layer below, and I'm going to go ahead and click on filter blur again and the motion blur and this is what's going to give really the, the rain effect so I have it here set to uh, at an angle of 69 I think I'm gonna change that slightly to straighten that out a little bit oops about to 73 75 uh, 75 is about right as an angle and for distance you can again uh, fool around with this I think um, I'm just gonna leave it up to what I had it before roughly 90 uh, 90 pixels or so and click OK Okay, so I'm going to go and uh, change the blend mode of the layer 2 to screen. Okay, now you can see that we don't really see anything whatsoever. So I'm going to go back to the levels adjustment that we did. And I'm going to start fooling around with the levels adjustment, bring back some of the rain. So I'm going to slide the black point to the left. And you can start seeing the rain effect coming through. And I'm just going to take the white slider and modify it, add more contrast how's that? okay and then go back to layer 2 and we're just gonna decrease the opacity make it more realistic and round, round there sounds about right Okay, so I've just modified it a little bit further, and the last thing that I would do is I'll just go back to layer 1, and we'll add the black uh, outline to this image. So I'm going to double click on the right hand side, and I'm going to go to stroke, and the color is black, and have it set to 3 pixels, and the position, let's just make this, uh, actually we'll keep it to the outside, and click OK. And there you have it, there's your image. So we have uh, the rain uh, pouring down and we created a little white border on the side with a black outline.